Midjourney has just launched exciting new features, an external image editor and advanced image retexturing. With retexture, we can transform the contents of an image while preserving its original structure. I think this is one of Midjourney's biggest updates this year. Let's get started. To use this new function, first go to the Midjourney website and click Login. I usually prefer using Discord to generate AI images. Once logged in, you'll see an Edit button in the left menu. Click it, and you'll have the option to either edit an image from a URL or upload your own image. Before this update, we could upload images to a Discord room and use prompts to make changes, but the results wouldn't always follow the original structure and outline precisely. Now, with this new feature, we have much more control. After entering the prompt for the landscape plan, switch to the Retexture tab and click Submit Retexture. Let's check out the results. It follows the outlines of trees and buildings with impressive precision. I can easily switch the rendering style by adjusting the prompt. For instance, changing it from watercolor to a realistic look. I've tested various prompt words in mid-journey specifically for landscape design, and refining our prompts consistently leads to better results. Small adjustments can make a big difference in the final output. Now let's test a landscape perspective rendering, going from sketch to final image. Following the same process, I upload my sketch and enter the prompt. By clicking the settings icon, I can adjust the output image size and stylization, or even fine tune with specific parameters. I've noticed that the perspective renderings tend to come out visually stronger than the landscape plan views. We can also edit the generated image by using the erase tool to mark specific areas and then revising the prompt. However, I've found that this feature isn't particularly responsive when it comes to landscape and architecture image generation. I can also expand the canvas and ask Midjourney to generate additional areas of the image. In the Discord room, Midjourney also has an expand function, but it doesn't allow you to set the aspect ratio by dragging Next, let's try an architectural rendering. I tested the same sketch-to-image approach on another AI platform, and each has its strengths and limitations. With Midjourney, I can modify the building facade simply by adjusting the prompt. You can find a list of facade styles and other architectural, landscape, and interior design factors in our Midjourney prompt guidebook. Just copy the relevant keywords and paste them into the prompt and the generated architecture will feature the materials and textures you specify. For example, I can switch the facade to an ethylene tetrafluoroethylene material, and you'll see the building's surface update accordingly. However, there's a large arch in the image that I don't want, so I'll use the eraser tool to remove it, leaving a clear sky in the background. Now let's see if we can replace the facade with ceramic tiles as a wall screen. Midjourney understands specific materials really well compared to other AI tools. No need for additional training or specialized models like in stable diffusion. Here, we just add the material description directly to the prompt and Midjourney adjusts the surface or appearance accurately. Now let's try an interior sketch rendering. For this lobby, I'm going to specify a modern, colorful aluminum plate finish in the prompt. Let's see how Midjourney interprets this choice for the final result. The generated images look impressive. There's natural light coming in, 
and the reflections add a realistic depth to the scene. I also experimented with a futuristic, minimalistic style for this interior sketch, and I'm really pleased with the results. Additionally, by adding a reference image for retexturing, like a cyberpunk themed image, the interior was enhanced with neon lighting effects, giving it a unique, vibrant look. Besides using the retexture function for sketch to rendering, the edit feature allows us to add specific details to architectural images. For instance, I can highlight an area on the wall and instruct the AI to place an artwork in that spot within this living room. It's a straightforward way to personalize and enhance the scene. Another great use of this new feature is testing out materials for architectural facades. In real life, Selecting the best material for a building can require several trials, but with Midjourney, we can explore options easily by simply updating the prompt. This lets us quickly visualize how different materials fit the design. Another useful feature is transforming architectural images into sketch-style drawings. By using prompts like Architecture CAD Drawing or Architecture Sketch, we can create a sketched version of the building. Lastly, I wanted to test urban design rendering. For this, I exported an aerial view from a SketchUp model and described the urban design concept and environment in the prompt. This generated a series of urban design renderings and I could even adjust the image size to expand the city view. However, I noticed that the detail level in these urban images isn't quite as refined as in the architectural perspectives. If you're interested in learning more about specific factors in architecture, landscape design, and interior design prompts and parameters in mid-journey, feel free to check out the course and guidebook for detailed insights. You will learn how to set up mid-journey, use basic commands, and explore parameters with practical applications in architectural design. Each factor of the architecture design prompt formula will be explained step-by-step -step to help generate accurate outputs from mid-journey. Additionally, formulas for landscape design and interior design will be covered sketch to rendering techniques and the integration of AI into existing workflows will also be included. Enroll now to master AI for your architecture projects and receive the continually updated Architecture Mid-Journey Prompts Guidebook, valued at $35.